The Nutcracker is a pretty old ballet and it is the story of Clara or Marie or there's many other names, Masha, depending on where you are in the world, but it's her family and it's Christmas Eve and she has a party at her house and she gets a Nutcracker for Christmas. This year I'm Ballerina Doll and Harlequin Doll, Waltz Core, Snow Core, um, I'm an Angel, White Rose, Chinese and Chinese Chorus. The main first scene is party scene. And this is when the Stahlbaums have their gathering with all their family friends at their Victorian age house in the 1800s. And Clara is their young daughter and Fritz is their young son. And there's a sort of sibling rivalry where Clara gets her gift, Fritz breaks it, Drosselmeyer is their uncle, he mends it, and they go about their party. It's a lot of rehearsals, you know, it takes a lot of time, but it's fun. I mean, it's fun to, you know, be at the studio and get to, like, experience what professional dancers experience. And then at yeah. the end, it, like, all comes together in, like, a beautiful show, so it's like, worth it. It's really stressful, but it's really fun. It's kind of like a journey. Um, it's really cool to see the process of the start and kind of putting everything together and then the final product when you get on stage. Then we get bad luck in the show. No, Orpheum and nothing story. happened. Yeah. But like, like you have to know that if you are at the Orpheum. That pig. If you bring a duck, you get good luck. <laughs> and that's where I uh, usually I run up, and the Wisniewski family go back there. Dressing rooms. This is where. These are probably more of the older girls. Uh, I'm not saying, yeah, older. And the snow core, you'll see it all in there. This is our snow uh, scene. Two years ago, we made these. We put all these sparkles, all these things on them, and the top is beautiful. We made them two years ago. We are the Wozniaks, all three of us. <laughs> One, two, three. Michael? Uh, Irena, I'm, I'm, I'm their, their mom. And Savomir Jr., Poland originally. And now we are from Phoenix, Arizona. It's this is like, you know, uh, tradition, celebration of uh, holidays. And um, 
beautiful music, beautiful show and uh, very important for our school because we have school, Ballet, Master Ballet Academy and Phoenix Ballet. Um, so we are doing that production and uh, we are very en like enjoying doing that for, for our audience here in Phoenix. And also our kids get an opportunity to do 16 shows, so that's a lot of good practice and they can get comfortable on stage before they go to companies and perform for real. He's the boss. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say he's the boss. <laughs> he's Come the on, no. He's no. the head. Who's the boss? The, the real head. boss. He's Come the head, on. she's the neck, so she controls the head. That's, that's what we say and it's, it's true. And he's a great guy. He makes things happen. So for me, he's a Jedi. <laughs> like you, you, you see him do things that you think they're impossible, but sometimes he, he just he makes them happen out of thin air. So it's, he's a very, great guy Very overall. important, very important person for, for us as a for me as a husband, for them as a um, father. father, and for all the artists, like a mentor. Because of weather. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> That's well, partially, it's exotic for us. We come from Poland, we have four seasons. Here it's like a summer and a very soft winter, so we really enjoy it. It was just different. It's supposed to be haunted, because people died here. And then the rubber ducks are because there used to be ducks underneath here, um, and you could actually hear the quacking. And so one time they sent a person down there to get rid of the ducks because obviously they can't have ducks down here while the people are performing. And so they had a person go down there and they never came back. And that's one like thing. And then the other is is the old rubber factory and the rubber ducks over there are what's left of it and that's like why um like people don't touch them because they're supposed to hold all the like souls and stuff of the dead people almost ready to go you fools <laughs> <laughs> Uh, playing um, on the Nintendo Switch, Ryan. It's okay. Uh, Smash, Smash it. <laughs> Noah. No, it doesn't really matter. None of it is even right now. He's King DDD, which is the big bird, and I am inkling over here crouching. Dude, that was so... It's <laughs> even now, buddy. Noah, where's your yeah? uh, prince costume? It's in the boys' room. Can you bring it here? It's really neat to be backstage, um, helping the kids uh, do quick changes because you know there's it's such a big production. People often don't understand what goes you know on behind stage. Um, so we come in, we set everything up for them. We they actually are pretty good in telling us what are their next roles, where they have quick changes. They bring us their costume, and at that point we set it up on a chair, and uh, we set up a, a group of about four to six volunteers. And we are, you know, literally waiting for them to run out of stage and um, do their quick changes. Um, from at that point, we kind of clean up. <laughs> uh, they come, the kids come and take their costumes. And after we set up for the second act, which is kind of the same process, we have names on the walls, we have chairs set up, and they put their costumes there. And then it's literally uh, just a mad, crazy running around trying to get everybody back on stage. It, it's not stressful, they all enjoy it. Um, but they are very focused on getting on stage, so there's nobody crying. They're, they're actually having a lot of fun, uh, and it's very neat to see these kids. They jump in and help each other. So if we're stuck with a kid and we're trying to get them a quick change and something's not going well, which is usually something that happens, uh, like a zipper is stuck or something didn't go right, um, they jump in and help their friends. So it's actually a pretty neat experience. All the kids are always very excited to come and do the Nutcracker. Raise your hand if you do. She's making a big run. 
bring out the sets. The sets are the big deal. Thank you. Friday the 13th. That's how this is procedure. <laughs> I told her she'd have to wear steel toes to ask my permission to start. It's true, I have to hunt him down all the time. Sometimes he's on the loading dock, sometimes he's outside, sometimes he's somewhere fixing something with, this a, with a screwdriver. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the people around the world. Special thanks to all the people who support arts. Even more thankful to all the people who care about ballet. And this time I'm dressing up as a Santa Claus because I promise to all our donors who supported our Eating Tuesday that if you, you raise over $5,000, I will dress up as, as a Santa Claus. I couldn't believe that is possible. <laughs> Here we go. But thank you very much, everyone. And ho, ho, ho. ho. <laughs>